Okay, there'll be a finding of guilty to the information. A school superintendent admits stealing tens of thousands of dollars from his district. Good evening, I'm Rob Braun. And I'm Kemi Deerking. The person who led Norwood schools for nearly seven years was stealing from them for the last two. Anjanette Levy joins us live with how he was doing that. Anjanette. Well, Rob, the state auditor's office says that Rob Amodio was depositing checks for things like grant money that was meant for students here in Norwood into an account that he could access. That's how they say he stole more than $63,000 and used that money for his personal expenses. Do you know what we're doing today, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Tell me what, what we're doing. Uh, entering a plea. Rob Amodio admits to stealing more than $63,000 from Norwood schools over two years. What's the name of the offense that we're pleading to today? Um, theft in office. The theft from Norwood schools was uncovered in a special audit by the state auditor's office. A spokesperson says red flags were found during a routine audit. The audit revealed five checks from Norwood's charter and city schools were deposited into the Valley Association of School Administrators account. The total, $51,678. The audit found Amodio withdrew another $11,140 for a grand total of $63,004.66. I got involved in the case at the end of July or thereabout. Uh, he's been fully cooperative with me as well as the state in their investigation. Attorney Pete Rosenwald says Amodio will pay back every cent. Okay, there'll be a finding of guilty to the information. Now, Amodio could get anywhere from probation to 18 months in prison when he's sentenced. Right now, he's free on his own recognizance. Reporting live from Norwood, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. And Jeanette, thanks very much. Amodio will be sentenced January 4th, and at that time, the state auditor will release all of the findings.